Okay, today's lesson for the ratio track is unit rates and unit rate application. Go ahead and copy this into your notebook. All right, here's an example. It says the Craig family went on vacation. They traveled 300 miles on 10 gallons of gas. How far can the Craig family travel using one gallon of gas? The first thing I notice here is that this is a ratio because it's comparing two quantities. It's comparing the number of miles the car can go for how many gallons of gasoline. And we know from the original problem that it can go 300 miles on just 10 gallons of gas. As we keep reading, it says, how far can the Craig family travel using one gallon of gas? This is called a unit rate. A unit rate has a denominator of one. So we want to know how many miles, that's what we're looking to find out, it can go per one gallon. The nice thing about unit rate here is any way to get to one, you have to divide the number by itself. So in this case, it's 10. 10 divided by 10 gives us 1. 300 divided by 10 gives us 30, which means this car can travel 30 miles per one gallon of gas. Okay, go ahead and pause the tape and try this one. Okay, so here's the ticket. We're comparing the amount of money per ounces, and it costs $24 for 8 ounces of prime rib. The only other piece of information we have in this problem is that we want to know how much it costs. We don't know how much it costs, which is naturally the amount of money, per ounce, per ounce, one ounce. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 24 divided by 8 is 3. So this prime rib costs $3 per ounce. Okay, here are four problems for you to try. Pause the tape, take about four minutes and try them, and when you're finished, unpause. Okay, so the first one, we're comparing hot dogs in minutes. 15 hot dogs in three minutes, and it wants to know how many hot dogs can you eat in one minute. Three divided by three gives us our one. 15 divided by three gives us five, which means they can eat five hot dogs per minute. In this one, Miss Murray can run 100 yards in 6.5 seconds. That's what we're comparing is yards and seconds. You're definitely going to have to use a calculator here. To go from 6.5 to 1, you divide by 6.5, which means if we divide the denominator by 6.5, we also have to divide the numerator by 6.5. And 100 divided by 6.5 is going to give us 15.38 with a long string of decimals. I just rounded it to the hundredths place. That means she can run 15 yards per second. In one second, she can run 15 yards, which is really, really fast. Number three, it's a little bit trickier because you got to read carefully. It says eight donuts, donuts, have 1,600 calories. My ticket is donuts per calories. How many calories are there per donut? So we're looking at one donut. And in this problem, we're keeping track of the donuts in the numerator. Eight divided by eight gives us one. 1,600 divided by eight gives us 200, which means there are 200 calories for every donut that you eat. Taking it a little bit further, number four says, if you ate 10 donuts, how many calories would you have eaten? Well, if you know that one donut has 200 calories, it means another donut would have another 200 calories, and you could keep adding that up 10 times, or 200 calories times 10 donuts, that's a lot of donuts, and that's a lot of calories. 200 times 10 gives us 2,000, so there would be 2,000 calories in 10 donuts. And that's going to lead us into where we're going next, taking it to the next level. So Sally completed 150 jumping jacks in three minutes. So what we're comparing here is jumping jacks to minutes. So let's get the information we know, 150 of them, and it took her three minutes to do those jumping jacks. 150 jumping jacks, three minutes. At that same rate, how many would she be able to do in 10 minutes? So this is interesting here, because if we set this up, there is no whole number that we can multiply 3 by to give us 10. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12. So this isn't going to work. We're not going to be able to just go straight there. But if we know she can do 150 jumping jacks in 3 minutes... That means we can find out how much she does in one minute, and that's really going to help us. So to find out how much she does in one minute, we're going to divide. 3 divided by 3 gives us our 1. 150 divided by 3 gives us 50. So now 
we can take this information to help us answer the problem. If we know she can do 50 jumping jacks in one minute to get to 10 minutes, we just take that amount of jumping jacks and multiply it by 10, which gives us 500 jumping jacks in 10 minutes. Another way we can double check this is if we take our original ratio and put this in your calculator, 150 ABC3, it spits out 50. It simplifies to 50. If we, and we look right here, it's still 50. If we take our answer, 500 ABC10, it also simplifies to 50. All three of these are equivalent. Okay, on your own, here's the last one. Go ahead and pause the tape and try this problem. Here's the first hint for you. It should be money over hours. If you need to pause it to continue to work it out from here, pause it now. Here's the next hint for you. Here is $53.80 after working for seven hours, and it wants to know how much he will earn after working for 30 hours. The thing is, is he's not going to be able to go from 7 to 30. 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 5 is 35, it won't work. So what we have to do is figure out about how much John is going to make in one hour. 7 divided by 7, 53.80 divided by 7. It's going to give you a, a, a pretty long string of decimals, but because we're talking about money, I'm going to call it $7.68. You could have called it $7.69. And we know then, if this is how much he makes for one hour, we can multiply that by 30 to get his total that he'll earn after working that entire week. So he's going to earn about $230.50 some cents. Okay, tomorrow you are going to have a quiz on everything we've learned this week. Starting from the beginning, that was ratio language, that was percents, that was making tickets, that was unit rate, everything we've done with ratios. And your work for today, the bit.ly is bit.ly slash I S R four twenty nineteen all capitals ISR four twenty nineteen